Hey, Andy from AndyMar.com here. Thanks for watching another one of my videos. Here's a quick word of warning. Mm, it's about Pro Tools crashing, and it's not a matter of if it probably crashes, it's a matter of when. As we all know, it likes to crash, and likes crashing at the, at the least opportune times. And when it comes back, sometimes it throws your preferences out the window in a very rude way. In particular, there's one little setting, one little box that is checked, and it looks very innocuous until it's unchecked by default by Pro Tools after a crash and it gives you a world of hurt. We're talking about, let's bring it up, in Setup, Preferences, uh, go from Display across to Processing, this little box here, Automatically Copy Files on Import. Now if that isn't checked, and by default it isn't checked, and when Pro Tools recovers from a crash, quite often it will re-default back to Not Checked, it means that if you've got a, let's just say you've got Project A over here, which you, you've done some awesome stuff with Project A, but Pro Tools A, uh, Project A is getting kind of big, and maybe it's a little bit out of date, but there's some audio from it that you want to bring into a new project called Project B. You drag the audio across, but if you don't automatically copy the files on import, it's going to read in Project B, but the audio is going to be sitting on the hard drive back over on Project A. That's all good until you go and archive Project A off onto a DVD and then half your audio is missing in Project B. It's no fun. So make sure that you automatically copy your files on import. To give you an example of what can happen when you don't, let's leave that unchecked. Click OK. And let's bring this file over here. Tone. Special little shout out to a mate of mine, Tone. At Royal Co Radio in Calgary. How you going, Tone? Um, he loves the way Australians say Tony. Tony! Yeah, mate. Here's, um, yeah, I'm really annoying you, aren't I? And not just Tony. Here's the tone. <laughs> don't take that tone with me, Pro Tools. I don't like that tone. I'm going to delete it. Clear. Clear. Remove. No, I don't want to just remove it. I don't want it in that session file at all, so I'm going to delete it. Is it used in a track? Well, yeah, but I don't want it to be, so yes, it's gone. It gets deleted. Ah! Oh, oh, that, oh, that was my only copy, damn it! And it actually was. I'm not making that up. Lucky it's only tone. It's not, I don't know, an awesome voice track or something because that is gone forever. If you've got Pro Tools 11, there is the option to save, to delete to the recycle bin. But Pro Tools 10 and below, it's gone. The ones and zeros have been scattered to the four winds and they're never going to come back. It's not in the recycling bin, it's all over. So just be careful. After a Pro Tools crash, go back into your preferences and recheck. Automatically copy files on import for your sanity. And for me to sleep at night, please, I can't have it that you don't have that checked. Hope this has been helpful. Give me an email at andy at andymar.com with any questions or suggestions. Uh, keep an eye on andymar.com for more videos like this, or you can just subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hope you've had fun. Have a great day. Cheers. See ya.